Turns out the oldest living person is a Mexican woman who is said to be 127 years old. Her name is Leandra Becerra Lumbreras, and uh, she has lived through quite a bit. She was born in 1887, Whoa. meaning she was 27 years old at the beginning of World War One, and 82 when uh, man first set foot on the moon, which is unbelievable. Now, being that old does have its downsides, as you can imagine. Um, unfortunately, uh, she saw five of her children die as a result of her old age. Um, and, well, they didn't die because of her old age. You guys get what you mean. <laughs> she experienced it because of yeah, her old age. I'd look into that. But. Yes. Um, and also, she has 20 grandchildren, 73 great-grandchildren, and 55 great-great-grandchildren, which is bananas. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what you guys think about this story. Sandra, make your point. Oh, I think it's marvelous. You just doing the math right there just made me think about life so hard. Oh, goodness. Part of me wants to live that long and part of me really doesn't. <laughs> yes. I think that's like the real question here, you know? Would you want to live that long? Yeah. Yeah, what I love whenever they track down one of these people that's like 105, 115, is instantly us who are scared of being old, we want to learn something from them. So we want to analyze their behavior and their diet and all of that. And it always ends up being like an old woman is like, I eat bacon every single day. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, they never have anything to give to us in terms of that, and we're just hound, uh, hounding them with questions they don't want to answer. Yeah, so the thing that she says has led to her long life is chocolate. She eats chocolate all the time, <laughs> which I, I mean, I'm in favor of that. I'll pour that all over me, right? Um, <laughs> but what's great about her is um, she just seems like she has a knack for living. You know, after she's dealt with so many tragedies, seeing her own children die, she seems like a really, like, vibrant, active woman, even at 127 years old. She also says that, or her family members say that she's always led an active life, so I'm sure that has a lot to do with it, with it as well. So if you knew that you were going to live to 127 years old, what would you change about your life, Sandra? I would, okay, if I knew that that was about to happen, mm -hmm. um, I'd probably become an advocate a lot more for uh, fundraising for um, uh, the science to make us live longer um, and healthier. Uh, like, uh, there's just all this science about like doing mm -hmm. stuff to your DNA, and it's like seven different ways you can help increase your lifespan in a healthy oh, way. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't want to have the last 40 years of my life being like, I can't. Can you hand me that? Like, yeah. you know, I want to be such like, a good point. there in you an go. Exoskeleton, doing it yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> or I want to be a robot or something. Um, <laughs> but I would really, I would save for retirement because you know that'd be really stressful. Um, oh my gosh, that's a great point. Like 60 oh, years completely. of retirement. Absolutely. And then um, really learn about um, ways to help the environment and stuff so that you know. It's like, if you're going to be here for a long time, my goodness, yeah. let's make it okay. Let's make the air all right. Let's mm -hmm. make sure there's water and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I want to live to 127, oh. now that you mentioned climate change and how serious that is. Mm. I mean, did you guys hear about the hazelnuts? Nutella is <laughs> going to cost more money because we can't grow hazelnuts. Come on. Oh, yeah. Fake Nutella is going to be great, though. Almonds, I'm sure it's going to be uh, fine. One almond takes a gallon of water mm -hmm. to make. That's insane. Well, yeah. That's and insane. they're really dry <laughs> when you eat them, so I feel like it was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would definitely want to live to 127. I'm just going to be getting warmed up when I'm 127. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> but if I knew that I was going to live to 127, um, I hope I'll do some of the charity stuff like Sandra. But also, I would massively change my diet and exercise. Um, I would eat everything I wanted because apparently it's not going to have any consequences. The only thing stopping me from wallpapering my house and Pop-Tarts right now is the fear of growing old, fat, and dying at 55, basically. So if I knew I could reach 127, I would eat whatever I want, and I would become the world's <laughs> greatest spy because I know I'm never going to get caught and killed. Wow. All right. Um, my, it's funny because Sandra's answer is the complete opposite of my answer. Like, you want to help the world. Let me raise money. Let me do some philanthropic well, work. This is to help me right? as well. And that's true. That's very, very true. My, my number one answer is, oh, my God, I have all the time in the world. I'm not going to stress out about marriage. Right? Because, like, everyone around ah. me is getting married. And I'm like, I'm not ready. Why are people getting married? And I'm like, should I, get, should I think about it? Should I be worried about it? And now I can just be like, oh, I got all the time in the world. It's OK. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to be fine. I would probably donate money to research that would find a way for women to get pregnant later in life. So that way I could get pregnant at like, I don't know, 70, I guess. <laughs> right? Anyway, tell, tell, no, I don't want to get pregnant at 70. That sounds, that sounds terrible. Anyway, but tell us what you guys think. How would you change your life if you knew you were going to live to 127 years old? Comment in the section below. And also, what do you think about this woman and some of the things that she's seen in her life? Would you want to live that long? Tell us what you think. We'll see you guys soon.